And our top story for you tonight, some justice for a family decades after the disappearance and death of a 12-year-old girl. Janelle Matthews vanished from Greeley right before Christmas in 1984. Her remains were not found until just a few years ago. Dylan Thomas joins us live in Greeley right now where jurors returned that guilty plea against the man now charged in her murder. Dylan. Today, families and friends of Janelle Matthews cried both tears of joy and sorrow in this courtroom right here behind me. Nearly 40 years after he murdered Janelle Matthews, Steve Pankey was not only convicted, but sentenced to life behind bars. The family praised the DA's office and local law enforcement for never go giving up on their pursuit of justice for Janelle. But Steve Pankey said they got everything but. Monday morning, Steve Pankey walked into a Weld County courtroom wearing a suit to learn his fate. We, the jury, find the defendant Steve and Dana Pankey guilty of murder in the first degree. Now a convicted murderer, Pankey was shackled and in a prisoner's jumpsuit when it came to sentencing. Life in prison with the possibility of parole after 20 years. I just want to cry. Nearly 38 years after Pankey murdered 12-year-old Janelle Matthews, her family finally has closure. It was a miracle. And I have to give God credit for that. Until the body was found, we were consigned to the fact that uh, we may never know what happened to her. Her parents said Monday's verdict brought a flood of emotions from decades of built up pain. Obviously relief, closure, finality for our family and praising God for his help in this as well. Janelle's parents and sister were allowed to address the court where they spent their time calling on Panky to seek forgiveness but not from them. I cannot forgive him for how he killed Janelle. God is the only one who can forgive evil, and I feel that this is evil. Panky only had three things to say. I am a Christian. I will be in heaven. I am innocent, and this is not justice for Janelle. We're not going to let, let this obsess us and uh, haunt us. We've got the verdict that we want now. Steve Panky is a human being and he has a soul and it's still not too late for him to get things right with God. After nearly 38 years of waiting and two years of two trials, the family of Janelle Matthews tells us that they are working themselves on getting to the point of forgiveness, something they haven't ruled out yet. Her father said the community should be proud not only of law enforcement, but of the judicial system for never giving up on Janelle. Reporting live in Greeley, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Dylan, we appreciate you. Thank you. I'm Dylan.